I'm here at Islands Restaurants in Redondo Beach, California, where we're gonna learn how to make their signature Hawaiian burger. Join us on Get the Dish and find out the secrets behind the signature recipes of famous eateries and how you can recreate them at home. Islands Restaurants was founded in 1982 by Tony DeGrazier with a philosophy of recreating that carefree feeling after spending a day at the beach, followed by the best burger and fries. Maisha Smith has been with the company over 17 years and has been everything from hostess to manager and has a strong passion for food, people, and service. Let's go. I cannot wait. What is it about the Hawaiian burger that just keeps people coming back for more? Well, it's the unique flavors of the Hawaiian burger. Fresh grilled pineapple and the teriyaki sauce just makes you want to take a bite every single time. Maisha, what's the first thing that we need to do to make the Hawaiian burger? Well, the first thing we're going to do is get our fresh sliced pineapple. We're going to take it right on over to the grill and put two slices on. Now, I understand you guys use a lot of pineapple at Islands, 14,000 pounds per week. That is crazy. Yes, 7,000 pineapples per week. So that's what our guys are cutting. And this is really going to bring out that smoky flavor, kind of caramelize it a little bit. Yes, that's what makes our burger so unique using fresh ingredients. So while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get the burger patties. Wow, look how big that burger is. Islands has the biggest burgers. We do. <laughs> so we're gonna season our burgers with our special Islands seasoning. Just about three shakes is fine. And you guys wait to season the burger until it's on the grill. What kind of purpose does that serve? It actually brings out the seasoning a little bit better once it's actually on the burger versus before. Great, I love that tip. All right, and how long are we gonna cook the burger for? We usually cook it between six and seven minutes. So Maisha, what are the common mistakes that people make when they're making burgers? Well, you have to be patient. Oftentimes the mistake is they press down on the burger, which takes all the juices out. So when you're patient, you just watch the juices rise and then we're ready to flip. All right. So you can flip that burger on over for us. Oh. So yummy. So after the flip, we immediately get our Swiss cheese and put it right on. That is another tip. You put on the cheese right away. And we're yeah. using Swiss cheese. We are using Swiss cheese today for the Hawaiian. Oh. Perfect. And you already see that it's starting to caress the burger patty, really nicely melted. So we really want to wait till that melts down a little bit more. We did already flip the pineapple, so the pineapple is almost ready as well. We're going to actually put the pineapple right on there. So just like the burger patties and the pineapple, we put our buns on the grill as well. So we want to make sure they're nicely toasted. As you see here, you have a nice toasted bun, and that really enhances the flavor. So it's nice and crispy inside, but flavorful and soft on the outside. Perfect. I know. This is the best part. Now we're going to assemble the burger. Yes. What's the first component? Okay, so we're taking our nice grilled bottom bun, and we're going coast to coast with the mayonnaise. So we are not shy with our portions. Well, so, I love that because I love mayonnaise. Perfect. Yes, coast to coast, right across the bottom of the bun, so it's all nice and even. Now we're going to add a little bit of lettuce, so just a good handful. Okay. And then a slice of onion. I love it because we're going to get the crunch of the onion and then the crunch of the pineapple. Yes. And all of our produce is cut fresh every day, so you get you really want to make sure you are using fresh product to get really enhance the flavors. And then we're gonna grab our burger patty. Okay. We have the mayonnaise covered bun, the crisp lettuce, the onion, the tomato, and then that juicy piece of beef with the melted Swiss and that smoky, juicy pineapple. That kind of gives it that little sweet factor, right? Exactly. And then the last thing we're gonna do, which is my all-time favorite is putting a nice hearty scoop full of teriyaki right on top of the burger. Oh my goodness, an entire scoop. Yes. Love that. Uh, Aloha. <laughs> and then okay. you'll start to kind of see that creep down through the cheese and the burger patty. And then we're going to top it with our nice crisp oh bun. Oh my Gosh, Maisha, I cannot wait to try this burger. I know, it's delicious. And I have a perfect pineapple cocktail that's gonna partner that very well. Yup, let's go to the bar. This is the Makaha Margarita. Now we've taken that grilled pineapple that we grill on the grill, infused it with our tequila for three whole days just for this one drink. 
And then we also have muddled pineapple in there and then we have it garnished with pineapple and the pineapple leaf. So we literally use the entire pineapple. And then the cinnamon sugar rim is so good. This is so refreshing and light and absolutely transports me to Hawaii. Yes. All right, Maisha, I am dying to dig right into the Hawaiian burger. Please do. All right. Help yourself. Oh, it is crazy huge. How am I gonna do this? So big. Oh. So you should be tasting that teriyaki fresh pineapple. Oh my gosh, it is so the nice delicious. Bun. Oh, and then the pineapple, it's so sweet, but then the savory teriyaki. Yes. Oh. I could see why someone would want to order this every single time. And you cannot come here and get burgers without getting their fries. And these are endless? Endless fries. So you ask for more fries, ask for another drink, and it's a perfect dining experience. Oh, this is so delicious. Maisha, thank you so much for teaching me how to make thank this. Thank you, you're awesome. Cheers. Cheers. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar.